Pen by itself is a pronoun. If I say the pen, the is an adverb which modifies the verb pen. Modification is change, change is motion, motion is action, action is, is verb. Okay, now if I say of pen, of is normally the preposition and the is the article. Separated, they both become adverbs. So now you have an adverb of pen, or by pen, or with pen, or over pen, under pen, doesn't matter how you do it. If you separate all the prepositions and all the articles, this is gonna become a verb. Now if you use a prepositional phrase, for this pen, for my pen, for your pen, for his pen, for her pen, with her pen, with his pen. See, every time I change the preposition or change the article, I change the ownership and I change the operation of the pen. And it goes on and on. There's no computer in the world that has enough capacity to do that. My brain does it as fast as I can speak. I can syntax and write and do the conversions. The human mind is really unique in its ability to use deductive reasoning and logic to create the correct sentence structure communication syntax. And with this level of accuracy, the government said that's impossible. Well, what's the first rule of law? It's called knowledge. You don't have knowledge, you can't play in the sandbox. You can't participate. So you gotta have the knowledge to understand what is being said. No law or fact shall be tried in court. That is their law, that is their oath. Every judge, barrister, lawyer, attorney, worldwide, all countries, all languages swear to this because for 8,500 years, language has been bastardized. It is adverb, verb, illusion. So you've got an adverb that's a negative adverb, modifies the verb or is a conjunction, fact becomes a verb, Shall is a pronoun, be is an adverb, making try to be a past time verb, in is an adverb, modifies the verb court, it's a dangling participle. You've got a verb law, a verb fact, and a verb court. You can only have one jurisdiction in court, it's called the least common denominator. In a math problem, you must always acquire the least common denominator in order to solve the problem. Your least common denominator is one. You got one jurisdiction under maritime law, one jurisdiction under maritime facts and one jurisdiction under maritime court called verb, which is an illusion. In an illusion, three plus three equals all numbers in the universe except six. You can't try three plus three equals six. All words that start with a vowel, A, E, I, O, and U are followed by two consonants means no contract. You're gonna say, where do I find that rule? Look up every word in the dictionary. Get yourself a nice eight inch thick Webster's Unabridged Dictionary and look up every word that starts with a vowel and two consonants. And the, all the synonyms that reflect that word and you will find a no contract, a negative condition of state for every single word. ACT means no contract. In 4700 BC, Pharaoh said, so it is written, so it shall be done. And re there was a reason for that because oral contracts cannot be seen or proven. Did you hear what I said, what I meant, what I said, when I said, what I meant, what I said? If you don't see it written, you can't prove it. Your correct sentence structure communication syntax balance of the order of operations of cause and effect, a verb of thinking, a possessive of with, and an authorization of by the gives you an order of operations for every sentence that follows the rules of the operations of a court. So every single sentence is its own independent court as you make an argument. We're not dealing with 150 to one variables in an oral conversation. So your paperwork is gonna speak for you. You don't lose any words. It's a math problem. Just because there's 5,000 different signs and symbols for things, it's a math problem. It can't change a math problem. That's the accuracy and the beauty of this technology. Here's a technology that has to be translated to all six billion humans without insulting any faith, political belief, sex, customs. I mean, when you take something that's going to unify an entire planet because it's correct, remember, no one ever went to war over a math problem and all six billion humans use the same mathematical syntax. But how many different languages? You've got 5,000 different religions, you've got 5,000 different languages, and it keeps everyone divided called Babel, where even though they have all this Babel for 8,500 years, they still use the same math problem and they don't fight over it. So by bringing communication skills down to a math problem, we remove the ability of an individual to lose his temper or maintain an argument. 